What's up, Cereal Heads? Today we're going to talk about the 2022 new Monster Cereals. Yep, it's already that time of year. Seems to get earlier every year, but I guess it's time to start celebrating Halloween here in August. So let's get right into it and talk about what's new or different with this year's Monster Cereals. First, as you can see here, I have this large four box variety pack that you can find at Sam's Club, but I think you should be able to find the individual boxes soon on regular shelves. And right from the jump here, you can notice a few things. For one, there are four monsters on here instead of the usual three. So it looks like Fruit Brute has made his triumphant return this season. And I don't know if you can see this, but two of the monsters look a little different with these little gray bones coming out of their head. But that's quickly explained when you look up top here and you see that it says you can win a Cause Monster Prize. So once again, General Mills has paired with street artist Cause to bring his style to another General Mills cereal. Now in the past, they paired him up with Reese's Puff Boxes. And if you don't know who Cause is, well, I suggest Googling him because I'm not gonna be able to explain his appeal or popularity. But enough of this variety pack, let's take a look at each one of these individual boxes. First, let's start with Count Chocula. You can see they've gone with the classic old fashioned style box here. Simple white background. You got the Count's name here on the front of the box. You got a close up of the cereal down here. You can see the Count looks a little different than normal. He's been remixed by Cause. You can see the X's in his eyes and these gray little bones sticking out of his head. Let's check out the back of the box here. Here's another art piece by Cause. You can see here, this is his companion piece. That's his famous figure that has X's for eyes and little gray bones sticking out of his head. And up here in this marshmallow here, it tells you how you can enter to win one of those cause prizes, which we'll talk about in a second. Now, I'm actually not gonna open up this box and try it or show you what Count Chocula looks like because it's the same recipe they've been using. They still haven't gone back to the oat recipe. So you know what this cereal looks like. You know what this cereal tastes like. And if you don't, and this is your first time seeing Count Chocula, well, go watch one of my old monster cereal videos. Instead, let's just keep it moving. Next up, we have Frankenberry cereal. Again, very similar to Count Chocula. You got the little remix version of Frankenberry there with the X's for his eyes and bones coming out of the side of his head. You also have some X's on the strawberry there, which is a nice touch. And it looks like there's a little printing error there by the spoon and the B, but basically the same box we've seen before. And then on the back of the box here, you have another piece of art by Cause. It's that same one that's on the back of Count Chocula. They just have Frankenberry there. And of course the monster head marshmallow telling you how to enter the contest. All right, let's move on to the next monster. And that of course is Boo Berry. Boo Berry I think is still my favorite of the monster cereals. You can see here he has some X's for his eyes, but no bones sticking out of his head. That's probably because he doesn't have any meat in his head for bones to penetrate. The back of this box is the same as others with Boo Berry there and the companion figure from Cause. Up top here on the marshmallow, there's another code for you to enter in case you want to try to win one of those Cause prizes. All right, so that's it for the classic three monsters that we see every year. Moving on now to our last and most newsworthy box of the season, Fruit Brute. So as you know, Fruit Brute was originally released as the fourth monster back in 1974. When it was released back then, it was spelled fruit, F-R-U-I-T, like fruit is spelled. The cereal was fruit flavored and it had lime flavored marshmallows in it. That was back when General Mills actually injected flavor into the Marbits. Unfortunately, they sent Fruit Brute to the cereal graveyard around 1982, but they would resurrect him 31 years later when they released Fruit Brut and Yummy Mummy again in 2013. Now that version, as you can see over here, only stuck around for a season and then it was gone again. And they changed the spelling to F-R-U-T-E because I guess they didn't want to confuse people into thinking there was actually fruit in this cereal. They also changed the flavor of the cereal to an artificial cherry flavored cereal and there were no lime marshmallows this time around. Now for this new cause promotion, they've essentially re-released this 2013 version but there's a little difference. You can see in that version, the cereal is a mix of sort of red and yellowish cereal pieces. This one looks like it's just sort of red cherry colored pieces. And you can see here on this cause box, Fruit Brute here has X's for his eyes. The back of the box features the same companion drawing as the other ones. This one has a lime green background here, which I'm hoping is a shout out to the lime green marshmallows from the original cereal. All right, let's open up this stuff and take a look. So here's what a bowl of 2022 Fruit Brute cereal looks like. The color might be a little redder than Frankenberry, but I think it looks pretty much the same. The Marbits for this one are orange, pink, purple, and yellow. So that's different than the Frankenberry blue and white Marbits. Let's hit him with some milk and give him a try. It's kind of hard to distinguish a cherry flavor. I mean, it's definitely a different berry flavor than Booberry or Frankenberry, but 
I'm not sure I'd guess cherry right off the bat. I think this still ranks below blueberry, frankenberry, or count chocolate for me. If it had lime flavored marshmallows in it, that would definitely shoot it to the top. But for now, well, it's just fine. I'll enjoy it this season and then I'll forget about it again. Okay, now let's talk about the Cause Monster prize that you can win with this cereal. On the box, it tells you to go to causemonsters.com. On this website, you put in your email and the code that comes on the box and you're entered for a chance to win a monster prize. And what are those prizes? Well, apparently they're little monster figurines. Here are the pictures of them from General Mills' Instagram page. You can see they're solid color little plastic figurines, like something you'd make in a 3D printer, or the kind of little toys you used to get inside boxes for free back in the day. And now, of course, we have to enter a contest for the chance to win one of these small little trinkets. It's like MLK said, the arc of the moral universe is long and bends towards things getting God forbid they include prizes in all the boxes of the cereal, right? But if you don't want to waste your money buying a box of this cereal and you still want to enter for a chance to win one of these little figurines, I got you covered. Just head over to cosmonsters.com, enter your email, and then put in this code MONSTERS424. You can enter the sweepstakes once a day just by using that free code. Hopefully you win one of these prizes. Best of luck, and you're welcome. All right, well, that's going to do it for this year's Monster Cereals. Happy early Halloween. Maybe next year General Mills will bring back Fruity Yummy Mummy. Or maybe in my lifetime, we'll see a new monster added to the group. Recently, I saw boxes of early mock-ups for other flavors that never made it into production, including vanilla, orange, banana, apple, and peanut butter versions of different monsters. So we know that General Mills has considered other possibilities way back in the day. Maybe they'll dive into the archives and treat us to a new monster in the future, or at least revert back to the oat recipe one year. Oh well, we can hope. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. You're curious about those other monster cereals now, aren't you? Cereal time. Cereal, cereal.